Hello guys, welcome to another video brought to you by Open School Center. This is another online lesson devoted to fourth year students on the last module entitled Life Issues. And this video is the second part of the first lesson Life Concerns and you can find the link to the video in the description box below. If you are interested and you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. Before getting started as usual, let's see what this lesson aims for. By the end of the lesson, the students will be able to write a Facebook post in which they raise people's awareness of the negative effects of smoking by describing pictures, watching a video about people talking about their sufferings from smoking, taking notes and completing a table with the missing information. The words the students are meant to acquire in this lesson are to get ahead, to cut down on, to ruin one's health, to be susceptible to, to smoke like a chimney, to quit cold turkey, heavy smoker, and passive smoker. If you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, you can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And don't forget to share this video and to send it to as many of your friends as possible so that they can make the most of it. And remember, sharing is caring. In the previous lesson, we talked about the different life issues that people worry about. Some people are worried about money, while others are concerned about success, their career, health, values, relationships, or the environment. Today, we're going to be focusing on one of these issues, which I consider vital to all of us all the time, essential to achieve success in life, indispensable for our well-being, and necessary for our education. Without it, we can't get ahead in our life. We can't do anything, and we can't enjoy life or make the most of it. Do you think it's money, success, career, health, values, relationships, or the environment? Did you get it? And the answer is... Drum roll, please. Health. Yes, 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 yes. It's health. Why? Simply because good health is the most important thing. It's more important than success. It's more important than money. And it's more important than power. There is nothing more important than our good health. That's our principal capital asset. And if we do not give importance to our health today, then tomorrow your health will not give importance to you. Based on these quotes, it is crystal clear that our health should come first. All of these quotes revolve around the importance of health. We have the most important thing, more important than, and give importance. However, unfortunately, people are not giving importance to their health and well-being, but rather they are ruining their health every day without even realizing it. How? Here are some of the everyday habits that you didn't know are ruining your health. Number one, skipping meals. Number two, eating out a lot and eating before bedtime. Number three, defrosting food at room temperature. Number four, washing your hands in water that's too hot and too quickly. Number five, being glued to your phone. Number six, bringing electronics into your bed with you. Number seven, ignoring your teeth and especially smoking, which is our main focus for today's lesson. In today's lesson, I aim to not only provide you with some information about smoking that you might need to pass your exams, but also to raise your awareness of the harmful impacts of smoking and encourage smokers to quit smoking cold turkey. To quit cold turkey is an idiom which means to stop doing something with no treatment support or replacement medications. Let's now go over the different types of smoking or tobacco in its different forms. People smoke regular cigarettes, e-cigarettes, hand-rolled cigarettes, cigars, pipes, water pipes, or what we call hookahs. Now let's get started with these three simple yet meaningful ads on smoking. 
may explain how harmful to your health smoking can be. The first ad on the left clearly shows a lit cigarette, increments of 10 years which symbolize an individual's life, and a caption saying how long can you live. I like this ad because it makes people ponder about their lives. The main message the ad is trying to get across is that the more you smoke, the shorter you live. Fast smoking can reduce your chances of living a longer, better and healthier life. The second ad we have on the right is that of a chain smoker, which means someone who smokes cigarettes one after another and uses the ember of a finished cigarette to light the next one. Such smokers are called heavy smokers because they smoke like a chimney, which means that they smoke continuously and incessantly. The one on the middle clearly shows that smoking can do nothing but harm and lead to an early death. The question now is, what are the negative effects of smoking? To answer this question, we're going to watch a video to realize how detrimental and destructive smoking can be to one's life. The people we will be watching are going to talk about their personal experiences, sufferings from smoking and its harmful effects. They're going to provide us with some valuable advice to help us either stop smoking if we're smokers or to discourage others from starting. But before that, I would like you to get a pen and a piece of paper to take notes, get ready to watch the video and complete the table with the missing information, either with the impacts of smoking or with the tips to quit it. The first example has been done for you. Hi, I'm Becky. I started smoking when I was 16. I thought it would make me look so cool and feel so free. Now I have end-stage COPD, and I've had lung surgery, and I'm chained to an oxygen tank. My tip is, if you keep smoking, your freedom may only go as far as your oxygen tube. I'm Christy. As a truck driver, I had a lot of time to smoke. I also had severe shortness of breath and a smoker's cough. I knew I had to quit. So for six months, I used e-cigarettes. Then I stopped. But the whole time, I kept smoking regular cigarettes right up until my lung collapsed. My tip is just cutting down on cigarettes isn't enough. You can quit. My name is Rebecca. I struggled with depression for years. I thought I needed cigarettes to cope. But then I started losing my teeth. That was a wake up call. I was able to quit smoking and then I started running. Now I feel a lot better about where I'm going. My tip is when life gives you a wake up call, answer it. You can quit. My name is Roosevelt. I always thought that cigarette smoking just messed up your lungs. I never thought that at only 45 would give me a heart attack. I never thought that it would stop me from playing basketball with my kids. Never thought that it would give me a scar like this. And I never thought that it would change my life forever. My tip is do your heart a favor and quit now. My name is Amanda and I smoked while I was pregnant. My baby was born two months early and weighed only three pounds. This is the view I had of her in the NICU. My tip to you is Speak into the opening so your baby can hear you better. I'm Marlene. I smoked and got maculate degeneration, so I don't see very well. If this happens to you, you could need eye injections every month like I do. My first tip is find a doctor that you could trust. My other tip is before they put that needle in your eyeball, Look as far away as possible. You can quit. I have asthma attacks pretty often, pretty frequently. Um, and I try to stay away from cigarette smoke because it, it triggers my asthma. And, and it, it hurts. Let's now correct the exercise. Kirsty suffers from severe shortness of breath and the smoker's cough. And she says that cutting down on cigarettes isn't enough to recover your health, so you need to practice sports. It should be noted that the verb to cut down on plus verb plus ing means to reduce doing something. 
As for Rebecca, she's lost her teeth and she says that when life gives you a wake up call, you should answer it and that smoking does not help with depression. Roosevelt suffers from a heart attack. He's no longer able to play basketball and he advises people to do their heart a favor and to quit cold turkey, which means immediately. Amanda feels so sad because her baby was born prematurely with certain birth defects and she wishes she didn't smoke. As for Marlene, she has to go to an eye doctor every now and then to get an eye injection so that she will not lose her eyesight. And finally, Jameson, although he doesn't smoke, he's suffering from passive smoking. He says that this, that he says that secondhand, he says that secondhand smoke triggers severe asthma attacks and can be deadly. As we can see, the impacts of smoking on people are detrimental whether you are a smoker or a secondhand smoker. But the question is, is this all? No, because smoking can damage every part of your body. Let's look at this picture and see how smoking affects every part of the body. Because the list is too long, I'm not going to be talking about all the effects of smoking on the body parts. I will just go over some of them. You can pause the video and read the other effects. First, people don't realize that smoking can lead to vision loss, stinging, and excessive tearing and blinking. Second, smoking can affect your brain and makes you twice as likely to die if you have a stroke. And the more you smoke, the greater your risk of stroke is. Smoking can also alter brain chemistry and make people anxious all the time. Third, smoking can also change your hair color. Scientists are now calling third-hand smoke. Yellow hair discoloration has been observed in tobacco users. Fourth, as soon as you inhale tobacco smoke, you become more susceptible to colds and allergies and eventually to cancer of nasal cavities and an impaired sense of smell. Fifth, smoking also exposes your teeth to both tobacco and nicotine. As a result, stained yellow teeth and bad breath are likely to happen. According to the Academy of General Dentistry, men who smoke lose about almost three teeth every 10 years of smoke. And in severe cases, it can make your teeth fall out. Sixth, smoking can cause lips, mouth and throat cancer, sore throat, impaired sense of taste, as well as bad breath. Seventh, Cigarette smoke could damage the inner ear and cause hearing loss and ear infection. Eighth, when someone has a heavy smoke habit, there is a significant risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, what we call COPD, which leads to progressive shortness of breath, a decline in lung functioning, chronic cough and bronchitis. Ninth, Smoking increases your risk of having and dying from heart disease, heart failure, or heart attack. As you can see, smoking can lead to a variety of ongoing effects on your body. If you want to learn more about the other effects, you can pause the video and read the other effects at your ease. Let's now go over today's language points. The sentence we have here is, the more you smoke, the shorter you live. As we can see the words in red here, the more, the shorter are in comparative forms. This structure is called double comparatives, which are phrases commonly used in English to express increasing or decreasing returns. This form is used to underline the importance of doing or not doing a certain activity. As you can see from this example, the form of double comparatives uh, is as follows. The plus comparative plus subject plus verb, comma, plus the plus comparative plus subject plus verb. Here we are using a sentence with a subject, but it is possible not to have subjects altogether. For example, the sooner the better. To better understand this grammatical point and get the hang of it, we will use these prompts to create these comparatives. 
you can pause the video, do the exercise, and then check your answers. Let's start now with the first one. The prompts we have are learn and earn. The correct answer is the more you learn, the more you earn. One extra year of schooling increases an individual's earnings by up to 10%, according to the United Nations. The prompts that we have in the second example are speak and hear. The correct answer is the less you speak, the more you hear. Actually, I hold the same view as this one. In fact, when we speak less, we don't cut off each other's sentences back and forth. We give the opportunity to others to express themselves and by doing so, we become good listeners and hear more and understand them better. In the third example, we have soon and good. This one is a common cliche. So we say, the sooner, the better. It is used when something should be done as soon as possible. So never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. The last example is share and have. The answer is, the more we share, the more we have. This is also true because if each of us shares what we have, then there will be greater benefit for everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, share it with your friends and send it to as many of your friends as possible so that they can make the most of it. Now let's move on to practice section. After watching these videos, you've decided to write a Facebook post in which you raise your friends' awareness of the dangerous effects of smoking and advise them to quit smoking cold turkey right away. Write your answer in the comment section below and I will correct it for you. You can use these expressions to give advice, to make your sentence look better. In this slide, we have the keynotes of the lesson. You can screenshot this page add it to your portfolio and send it to your friends as well. That's all for me guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Love and peace. React.